Groundhog gets it wrong. Groundhog gets it wrong. Written by Jess Towns. Illustrated by Nicole Miles. Groundhog came from a long line of meteorologists. His father's forecasts were famously accurate. His second cousin never second guessed her shadow. And his grandmother was the only groundhog with her own statue in the town square. Now it was his turn. On February 2nd, he would make his first Groundhog Day prediction, and the entire town was counting on him to determine if winter was coming to an end. Don't forget to look in all directions for your shadow. Smile for the camera. And don't worry, it's only your first year. But he wasn't worried. He was a groundhog after all, and groundhogs know weather. Groundhog woke bright and early on the big day, climbed out of his burrow, and looked around. His shadow was nowhere to be found, which meant only one thing. Hear ye, hear ye, good town folk and friends. I proclaim that this winter has come to an end. So pack up your sleds and stow them away. Then celebrate spring, for it starts today. The crowd cheered. No more shoveling, no more frostbite. Mr. Fluffington can hunt once more. Groundhog grinned with relief. He was a natural. Meteorology was as easy as carrot cake with sprinkles on top. The townspeople planned a spring carnival with a Ferris wheel, a dunking booth, and mouse races. Mr. Fluffington, no! Well, it almost had mouse races. And Groundhog, proud of his day's work, sauntered back to his burrow to prepare for next year. But the next day... <gasps> bam, 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 bam! Groundhog winced. There was snow on the ground and a frosty chill in the air that wasn't just coming from the sky. Groundhog's heart hammered. His cheeks flushed. Predicting the weather was supposed to be easy. He was a groundhog after all. Explain yourself, Groundhog! What about the Spring Festival? Has anyone seen Mr. Fluffington? You said it was spring, so it must be spring. Uh, the snow had to go. I can fix this, Groundhog said. Come back in an hour and wear your flip-flops. Spring is still on the way. He gathered his gear and got to work. Shink, shink, shink. But the snow was too slick to shovel. Brrr, too deep to defrost. And too excessive to excavate. Brrr. Groundhog was running out of ideas. He needed something to melt all the snow and fast. Then he saw it. It was working. The snow was gone. Winter melted before his eyes and spring was here, just like he promised. But when the townspeople arrived, Groundhog's heart fell to his feet. Whoa, watch out for the ice. I can't feel my toes. Look what you've done to Mr. Fluffington. Predicting the weather was supposed to be easy, but he'd gotten everything wrong. Maybe he wasn't cut out to be a groundhog after all. So he packed up his bags and abandoned his burrow to find the right job. He tried building dams. He tried herding sheep. He even tried making honey, but nothing was easy for groundhog. He trudged back to his burrow for a long winter's nap but when he went to the bookshelf for a bedtime story, he found something he'd never noticed before. Groundhog read and read and read some more. When he ran out of books, he enrolled in an online meteorology school. Maybe predicting the weather wasn't a piece of carrot cake, but he could learn. He studied the stratospheric layer. He brushed up on barometric pressure. 
and when Groundhog had mastered meteorology, he reapplied for his old job. But this time, he was prepared. Hear ye, hear ye, good townsfolk and friend. This surface map shows the ongoing trends. The cold front that's coming to the northeast means winter remains. For six weeks at least, he was a meteorologist after all. The end.